Right. Did you know that you can strip out any React state from any React website, even if it's not yours? So I'll check it out. Snippet here. What does this snippet do? Let me zoom in. This snippet is looking for some criteria for React query. So we know that there's a client and it has a query cache. Are we looking for objects in here related to the, the DOM, the where the React data is stored, where this is true. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to strip it out. We're going to find some stuff and monkey patch it as well. So whenever something happens with it, we know about it. So there we go. Boom, done. We have the query, uh, the query cache found. We've got all of the options in here, the queries, interesting one. And then we're just going through all of the different queries that have data and we're logging it out. So for example, in here, all of the data are related to me as a user, right? So this is, this is them overreaching. Definitely. You do not need to be getting all of this data, especially phone number. Why? Really? Why, why are you storing it in state? Um, other things as well. Very cool. Really, very cool. Um, it's huge for scraping and it's, it's obviously got a huge security implementation. So please, uh, look at your site, look at what you're doing and don't be over generous with your data fetching because if I have a Chrome extension and I put one snippet of code in, you saw how easy it is to grab react data. This is using react query, but actually we can just grab the entire set up and look for everything. So standard Redux, Recall, MobX, whatever you're using, built-in generic states and just fire it off.